Hello everyone, RogueFox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to create an automatic flower farm for Bedrock Edition. Let me show you how this farm works. So, we have this chest right here, this is for our bone meal, so we're going to open this up, get a small stack of bone meal and throw it in. That's going to filter down into our dispenser right here down below, just like that. And when that's all ready to go, all we do to activate this farm is flip this lever. And there we go, that runs until the bone mill is all dispensed. And all we do is run in, and then we grab all of our flowers. For this build, you will need a 10 by 7 area, and preferably a flower biome if you have one. If you don't, it's fine, this build will still work. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. So if we pop open our chest here, there are all of our supplies. Now if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that. Grab those supplies and then we'll jump right into the build. For visual purposes, I will be building this build in the air just so you can see all the redstone underneath. Now this grass that you see right here would be this grass right there so you can start digging down. Now what you want to do, we want to come one block up like this and then three blocks over. On this third block, we want to start a 5x5 five five patch of grass right here. Now let's go ahead and put in our pistons on the left side so we can come two blocks out like that. Grab your pistons, we want to knock this out. And just line them up right here against your grass blocks. So 5. And then grab your observer. We want to place our observer right on top of our pistons facing this way. Just like that. And then we place blocks here on the back of our pistons. Get your redstone dust, and then just line up the back like that. And there we go, there is the left side set up. Now let's go ahead and wire up the pistons on the right side. But before we do that, let's place down our perimeter. That will kind of help us set our next set of pistons into place. So from here, just line up some blocks like that. When you get to the edge of your grass block here, come three blocks out like this on the front side. And then on the back side here, we can just run our blocks to the end of the grass. So right there. Now we can go ahead and start setting up our pistons. So grab your pistons again. We want to skip a block and come to the center block right here. And then go ahead and lay down your other five pistons. Just like that. And then we can throw blocks right behind our pistons here. And then we want to come one block out like this. We'll have this little two block gap here. What we want to do is come down below. Put a temporary block here. And then two blocks out like this. And your setup should look a little something like this. Now what we want to do is go ahead and grab a redstone torch. On this block, throw down your redstone torch. Get your redstone dust. Place it right on top. Get your redstone repeater. We want to run it into this block right here. So do that. Set that to three ticks. And then grab your redstone dust and line up the rest of this right behind your pistons. And there we go. There is the pistons all wired up. So if we go ahead and give this a quick test. That pushes forward, and then this side pushes it back. Now it's time to set up our dispenser. So what we want to do is come to the center of our 5x5 area, so that would be right here. Go ahead and knock that block out for now, and then what we want to do is grab our dispenser, place the dispenser facing up right there, so we have that gap. Go ahead and put that grass block back. Now we're going to come down below and start wiring this up, so I'm going to knock these two blocks out here. We want one block under our dispenser right there. And then, actually, there we go. One block coming out from there. And then we want to create a sort of a 2 by 3 area. Just like this, on this middle block here on the right side. Come one block up. Knock that block out. And then come one block up right there. So it should finish right under our perimeter. Right where our gap is. So what we can do is grab our lever right here. Just go ahead and place that down. Right there. Get some redstone dust, put a piece of redstone dust right here. Get your redstone comparator, place it right here, running into this block. Set that to subtract mode. And then we want to start lining up redstone dust all the way around like this. And then for this block, get your repeater, run it into the block right here, and set that to two ticks. So, let's go ahead and give that a test. There we go, that's working just fine. Now all we have to do is run our hoppers right here into our dispenser. Now what we want to do is crouch place a hopper into the back of the dispenser, so right there, and then crouch place a hopper into that one, and then one more hopper into that one right there. So that's all set up. Now what we want to do is knock this block out, grab your chest, place it down, and there we go. There is our bone meal dispensing system all set up. So we have this to filter into our dispenser. 
and then we just finished wiring this up right here. Now for the top and the finishing touch, we want to cover up this gap right here. So what I decided to do was place glass blocks going all the way across like this. And there we go. There is the flower farm set up. Now let's go ahead and test it out. Alright, so we have half a stack of bone meal down below. Now let's go ahead and turn this thing on. So we flip our lever. And it looks like everything worked perfectly. So we shut it off and then we just run in and then we collect all of our flowers. And there you have it everyone, the automatic flower farm for Bedrock Edition. Now I apologize for the audio in the last clip. I don't know what's been going on. It's been cutting off my voice or the game audio. But either way, there you have it everyone. This is the end of our tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been Rogue Fox, and I'm out. I'll see you later.